Yes, the Rams did go 5-12 last year. However, I think the Rams are going to be a playoff team this year, and that's why I'm going to be giving my five bold predictions for the Rams 2023 NFL season. Let's get into the video. So the way that we're gonna be doing this is off a of Google Doc. Now you can already see all five things, so I kind of spoiled the video for you if you wanna read it. Um, however, we're gonna be going through each of these points one by one and discussing why I think that they will happen. Now these are going to be bold predictions. However, they're not so bold to where any of these can't happen. These are all very plausible and I have reasonings for each of them. So make sure you guys stay until the end of the video, leave a like and subscribe, and let's get into it. So my first bold prediction of the 2023 NFL season is going to be that Matthew Stafford throws for 4,500 yards and 40 touchdowns. Now, this is actually a pretty easy one uh, to prove that is possible. If we just go take a look at Matthew Stafford's stats, we can see here that uh, Matthew Stafford is thrown for over uh, 4,500 yards. One, two, three four times in his career and most recently in 2021 when the Rams won the Super Bowl. Now I'm not saying the Rams are going to win the Super Bowl this year, but I am saying that uh, Matthew Stafford's completion percentage has been going up, especially with the Rams 67 and 68 percent. Um, and he's going to be slinging the ball. Now in the last year, he didn't get close to that because he only played nine games. Um, his touchdowns and interceptions was not good. Um, he was not playing his best football. However, the year before he had reached 40 one touchdowns and 4,800 yards. So let's say he plays all 17 games. I definitely think he can at least underperform himself by almost 400 yards. And then also um, he will score a lot of touchdowns considering uh, Cooper Cup will be back healthy. So uh, this is something that he has done many times before. And if the Rams are gonna be successful, I definitely think that 4,500 yards and 40 touchdowns is not out of the park. Now I do think that he will have his fair share of interceptions and that he will have above 10 interceptions this year. But let's hope that doesn't hurt the Rams um, you know, too much. But that's my first bold prediction uh, is going to be Matthew Stafford throwing for 4,500 yards and 40 touchdowns. Second bold prediction, Cam Akers rushes for 1,000 yards and 10 touchdowns. So this one's a little bit harder to uh, kind of explain to you guys. Considering Cam Akers has never rushed for 1,000 yards or 10 touchdowns. Uh, this past year, he had 786 yards um, rushing and seven touchdowns. However, he did have that kind of four to five game span where the Rams were thinking about trading him and he was sitting out of practice. He wasn't giving uh, you know, his all to this game. Well, the Rams have officially made up with Cam Akers and he is their number one running back going into this season. Sony Michelle also retired. So he is going to be the lone back. Now, obviously there's gonna be other backs helping him uh, with Zach Evans. Um, Ronnie Rivers, uh, etc. Uh, however, uh, Cam Akers is going to be getting the lion's share of the uh, carries this year, and he's not going to have any of those snafus. Hopefully, he doesn't have any injuries. If none of that happens, I don't see a world where he doesn't have a thousand yards and over 10 touchdowns, considering he did all this with all the drama from last year and he, not him not playing every game. Uh, so, I definitely think he'll uh, rush for over that. That's going to be my second bold prediction. My third bold prediction, Cooper Cup has over 2,000 yards and 20 touchdowns in his Offensive Player of the Year. Uh, now this one uh, is a bit tougher because he hasn't done any, or he hasn't gotten 2,000 yards or 20 touchdowns. Um, however, uh, a lot of you guys might be saying, hey guys, Cooper, or hey Zach, Cooper Cup is uh, hurt. Uh, he hurt his hamstring. He is fine. He is supposed to return within like a week or two. He'll be back way before the season is um, up and running. And Cooper Cup has never been one to let an injury um, hinder him unless he can physically not play. And that's not the case with this injury. So um, this injury should be taken care of uh, within the next week or two, and he'll be perfectly fine going into the NFL season. Now, Cooper Cup in 2021 was the Triple Crown winner. Uh, he had 145 receptions for um, 1,947 yards um, and 16 touchdowns. Last year, he did get hurt, um, and he had 75 receptions uh, through, I believe, eight games before he got hurt. He basically played half the season, so he was on track uh, to, again, have about 1,600 yards, receiving uh, 150 receptions um, and about 12 to 13 uh, touchdowns. Um, 
Um, so he was definitely on track, even in a year where the Rams were 5-12, and 12, uh, to do that again. I think the Rams have a better offensive line this year. They also have Cam Akers, who is hopefully going to be doing much better at running back and opening up um, the game for him. I think the Rams are going to do absolutely amazing. Um, and Cooper Cup is going to be able to eclipse that 2,000 uh, receiving yard mark and 20 touchdown mark. He only has Van Jefferson now. He had Robert Woods and Odell Beckham Jr. to compete with back in the day. I think Cooper Cup is going to be a sort of a one-man show uh, with a bit of help from Van Jefferson, uh, Puka Nakua, Tutu Atwell, uh, Demarcus Robinson. So uh, I think he'll eclipse that considering Matthew Stafford doesn't have too many other people to go with and people have never been able to guard Cooper Cup. So uh, that's uh, basically why I think that will happen. Um, Aaron Donald for my fourth bold prediction is going to have 23 sacks and is going to get his fourth defensive player of the year. Um, and 23 sacks actually would be an NFL sack record sack record. Um, he had uh, 20 and a half sacks back in, uh, I believe 2019. Uh, but, uh, Michael Strahan had 22 and a half sacks, uh, for the record in 20, uh, 2001. Um, yeah, back in, sorry, 2018, Aaron Donald did have 20 and a half sacks. I think if the Rams are going to do good this year, Aaron Donald is going to need to play out of his mind. He basically was able to take half the season off last year, um, and he only had five sacks, but he didn't play the whole season. He only played about half, um, and I think that was enough time to rest and recuperate, and apparently Aaron Donald is absolutely ready to go um, from all reports, um, and he is dominating in practice and training camp, and I think Aaron Donald is going to have a career year here and help the Rams get to the uh, postseason by having very stellar play and breaking that sack record and getting deep uh, offensive player of the year. My final bold prediction is that the Rams win the NFC West. Um, the reason I believe that this is possible is because the 49ers are not exactly very clear at their quarterback position. Um, now, they might say that they have it all under control. But personally, I don't think they have a very good quarterback on their squad. And I think to win your division, you need that. Uh, so people can say Brock Purdy's good. Pe people can say that Trey Lance is good. But at the end of the day, I think that uh, Matthew Stafford is better. And I think the Seahawks are fool's gold. I think they'll be like 7-10. and 10, And I think the Arizona Cardinals will be like 5-12. and 12. Um, So I think the Rams and the 49ers will be battling it out. And the Rams will squeak it out at the end of the year with maybe an 11-6 or 12-5 and 5 record. Um, so those are going to be my five bold predictions for this year. Let me know what you think of them in the comment section below. Um, and yeah, that's going to be it for this video. Leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.